Uh, hello everyone and welcome to this uh, explanatory video about test three that will be held um, this coming Friday. Uh, I know my test is coming you know, in these weeks. Everybody, almost everyone have two, three assignments, tests, whatever. My test also is coming in the middle. So um, I wish you can, uh, you can manage and do well uh, and keep the good scoring and keep the momentum. So uh, let's do, uh, I mean, let's be positive about everything. Um, so what I will do now is just, I will explain some of the issues. I will upload for you all test one, all test two. I have some comments about that. And also I will talk about the slides that you should ignore. I have uh, in week seven, and some of the slides that you should ignore in week six, seven and eight. I already explained it on the, on the, on the workshop, but I don't know how many people attended or looked at my recording. Thing, since, since this is important, so I'm repeating it here. So let me share and just go to the... So uh, if you look at here at the, um, um, the tests, so this is actually at all test one, and all test one is, as usual, 24, um, 25, tw this is 24 problems. And um, um, some of the parts now, um, highlighted for you, which is problem from nine to 16. Uh, this is belongs to week nine. Why it is in this test? Because I used to, um, test three used to cover week seven, eight and nine. Now it covers only week six, seven and eight. So the problems here is about the ones that you will look at is about week seven and eight. Now, someone would say, what about week six? Is there any old test? Yes, there is. And I already uploaded for you in uh, the pre of the all test for test two. And then that time I told you ignore them. So you can come back to them and also review them if you like, and if you have time, it's up to you. Uh, so this is for test two and uh, the rest is with, it's with the solution. And I don't think it's a big problem here as I told you the ones that you don't have to worry about. Now, let me go to test two, which is actually the same thing. Um, problems, uh, which is uh, problem number 19 to 24 is about uh, market risk, which is week nine. We are not covering in this test. You ignore it in this review, but um, it covers only week seven and eight left here. So you will say again, where is the liquidity? Also the liquidity in the old tests. You can look at them. This is about the tests. Now, let me go to the, uh, the slides. Now in week, in, in, in week six, which is liquidity, uh, this is part four. Ignore completely part four, except for this slide. Now this slide is talking about something important for us, which is the uh, funding cost against the uh, funding risk. And it's very interesting issue when we talk about the CDs and the, you know, the uh, demand deposit. Uh, so you look at this slide and get the concept of the trade-off between these two issues, which is the funding cost and the funding risk. Now, uh, what about uh, uh, part five? Part five also ignore it completely because we are talking about the financial products. We are not really interested in financial products. You should know them, but we are not actually uh, digging in that area. So it's just how much the H account cost us in implicit and explicit interest. And I'm reviewing this in uh, you know, item 12, 15, um, slide 12, 15, and 14. Please look at them. This. So for part five, just look at those calculations. Maybe if there is something, I will test you on that. Uh, this is about the uh, liquidity. Now, what about week seven? Week seven, all is you are responsible about, except for this slide, which is a slide number uh, uh, slide number six, okay. This is the also another financial, uh, what we call products. Um, uh, you know, it's straightforward, but ignore it because we are talking about the classifications of law and whatever. As I told you, we are interested more in the rest, but of course you will have to know it in, in uh, not for the test purposes. Um, for example, we talked in one of the questions, the test about whether credit card is a uh, loan revolving, uh, it's a revolving loan. It is a revolving loan, but not, you know, uh, here we talked about revolving loans and not revolving loans. Uh, 
But we also mentioned people from Milons in some other places, and this is why uh, it was in the test. Anyways, for this time, uh, just ignore those classifications. I mean, for the test purposes, for this test three purposes. What about week uh, eight? Now week eight, um, uh, when we come here, this is the, it's uh, in part three, I think in the recording. Uh, uh, when we talk here, uh, as I told you, I already explained this. When we talk about the regulatory models, please take them off. So you don't have to worry about them as we said before. And then when we come here uh, in the uh, managing credit risk, uh, just these slides we have, as I told you, maybe one question or true and false and the rest ignore them. But we here we talked about securitization, uh, managing through securitization, not through, uh, you know, derivatives. Maybe this one, if there is, uh, you know, but we already, you already know what is, how we can, you know, if you send the loan, you actually get rid of the credit risk. This is for the uh, three weeks. And I hope you, uh, you, uh, you, will, you will do well in the, uh, in the test. And uh, um, just look, at them and, and look to these old tests and, uh, you know, review the tutorials, some of the workshops, uh, you know, look at the workshops and all these issues. It will be from that area and hopefully you can manage. Thank you very much and good luck. And I will see you after the test for the workshop.